This is a demonstration of the decomposition of copper 2 carbonate. It's decomposing or will decompose into copper 2 oxide and carbon dioxide gas. We're going to take a test tube with about a scoop full of copper 2 carbonate. We're going to heat it evenly over a blue flame, holding the test tube away from yourself and away from others. And as it heats up, it will begin to bubble and you'll see the, the powder bubbling a little bit. And we're going to test for the presence of carbon dioxide by taking a splint, light the splint in the flame, hold the lit splint over the mouth of the test tube, and if this lit splint goes out, that will indicate to us that indeed carbon dioxide is being released during this reaction. Again, this is an example of decomposition of copper 2 carbonate, and it's going to form copper 2 oxide and carbon dioxide. Heat the copper to carbonate in the flame until you start seeing some movement in the powder. And again, just remember to point the test tube away from yourself, away from others. And it takes just a minute for it to heat up. And again, this is a decomposition reaction, so we're taking a larger molecule and breaking it up into smaller molecules. So as the copper 2 carbonate is decomposing, carbon dioxide gas will be given off, and then we're going to test for the carbon dioxide gas by taking the lit wooden splint, holding it into the mouth of the test tube, and if it goes out, the wooden splint goes out, will know that there is indeed carbon dioxide being released. That's also a way that, to test for the presence of carbon dioxide. All right, it's starting to bubble a little bit. Give it just a little bit more time. Light your splint. And indeed it does go out. And I don't, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the flame actually turned a little green. And that's because some copper actually got on the wooden splint and the copper will burn green. So if that happens, you know, that's normal. And we'll see if any more carbon dioxide is being released. So it's still reacting. And that is an example of decomposition.